Hi everybody, this is Jack Lucchetti speaking and I'm going to show you in this video how to use Gretel to perform temporal disaggregation. And this is a new feature that has been introduced in the most recent version of Gretel, Gretel 2020e, that was released in November 2020. Temporal disaggregation is a technique that is used for interpolating a series observed at a lower frequency into a series at a higher frequency. Uh, there are several ways to do this and Gretel implements most of the more commonly used techniques. And in order to show you an example, I'm going to use uh, the Federal Reserve St. Louis database that is supplied natively with Gretel. So, I'm going to open this window here that gives you access to the Federal, uh, Federal Reserve St. Louis database that people who work with macroeconomic data know very well. And I'm going to start from the series for industrial production, which happens to be called InPro, and it's here. So if I uh, right click on this series and I put it in my uh, data set, here it is. You, you can see that by importing uh, the InPro series into here, um, I have created a monthly data set that spans over, over a century, in fact. Now, suppose that I want to also import the series GDP. Now, the series GDP, as you can see, is here. Uh, but the fact is that, as you can see here, this uh, series for the gross domestic product is a quarterly series. So when you try to import it into your data set, Gretel realizes that um, you are trying to mix um, series of different frequencies. So uh, Gretel is warning you, oh, look, the data bit to be imported are a, of a lower frequency than the current data set. Is it okay for you to proceed? And I'm, and I'm going to say yes to show you what happens if you do. Now, Gretel realizes that now you may want to disaggregate GDP now, but I'm going to say no in order to show you what happens if you start from a typical situation. Now, um, <clears throat> what do you have here? Here, you have two series uh, at, a, at a monthly frequency, but you may say GDP is quarterly. Okay, so the, the solution that Gretel uses is to repeat the values. So, as you can see, uh, here this is the third quarter of 2020, and as you can see, the figure for GDP is repeated for the three months July, August, and September of the three months, and the same happens for the previous quarter and so on. Now, we're going to use these uh, data in order to produce uh, an estimate of monthly GDP. Um, this can be accomplished in two ways, uh, in, actually in several ways. I'm going to show you the easiest one. Mm, you select GDP and then you go to the variable menu and you pick the disaggregate item that you uh, see here, or alternatively, you could just right click and pick disaggregate from here. And this um, window should appear in which you have to fill in some information that is necessary for uh, the operation to be performed. Uh, one is the output name of the series that you want, and of course, we will we want a different name in this case, so. Uh, I'm going to call the, ser the series MGDP, that stands for Monthly GDP. And then you have to supply a few uh, items here. For example, uh, what is the aggregation type? So, um, the disaggregation, if you, if you select the default that is here uh, selected for you, that is SUM, it is assumed that the quarterly series will result uh, uh, from the sum of the monthly disaggregated series, which is the case for um, the GDP, because the GDP is a um, flow variable, so we want to aggregate it uh, by summing it. Now, this is more interesting because uh, you have several ways to do this, um, to form this operation. One is to use a method that is based on a regression of the um, 
low frequency uh, data on the high frequency data and you get two variants here now I'm going now I'm, I'm not going to explain to you how this works because you uh, can read all about it in all the uh, various uh, bibliographical item and, uh, items that you find uh, around the world on this but basically you have ch uh, two, two variants here um, called one, one is called Chowley and the other is called Fernandez and and one of the things that you can use here is uh, you can choose one series that is already at the higher frequency in order to help you with the disaggregation here and this is the the choice that I'm going to uh, to make now uh, but uh, alternatively you could have chosen the uh, so-called Denton method uh, that again can uh, can be used in conjunction with a higher frequency series that is probably the uh, most uh, traditional uh, one and the most well established in the economic statistic literature and certainly one of the methods that has been used for years if not decades by most statistical agencies around the world to perform this kind of of, of task but suppose that uh, i'm going to that, that, that we choose a regression based chow lin here and and we click on okay we click on okay and as you can see now you have two series for gdp one is is the uh, gdp original gdp series and the other one is the monthly equivalent and if you compare the two values you can see that uh, this figure 21,157 has been decomposed as these three components and if you sum them up of course they sum to, to uh, 20, 21,157 uh, the way this figure was spread uh, on the three months uh, of that belong to this quarter is a little complicated to say but uh, suffice it to say that the information for the spreading was taken by the industrial production series this is something that you can do fairly easily but of course there is um, quite a lot of extra options that you might want to try out for example you may want to compare uh, how the uh, aggregated and disaggregated series uh, show on a on a plot and so if you uh, pick if you um, select this option here uh, apart from um, generating uh, the plot uh, apart from performing the disaggregation you you will also see that a plot here is being produced that shows you the difference between the original series and this disaggregated one now at this scale it's a bit difficult to see how things go but if you zoom into a particular part of the graph you can see that the green line here is the uh, original data and uh, the orange line here is the disaggregated monthly gdp estimate that you have um, now of course this uh, this is fun i mean you can explore all the different uh, options that you that you that you get here but um, the important thing to to bear in mind is that there is much much more that you can do by using the command line interface by writing a script and all this all all uh, these options are duly um, explained in chapter 9 of the uh, of the uh, Gretel guide so if you if you open the PDF file that is of the manual that again is supplied natively with the program, you will see that you have uh, all sorts of you have all sorts of details for what gets done in which way, and and at this point let me uh, let me also thank uh, an an expert of the field uh, who is Tommy uh, Tommaso Di Fonso from University of Padua who helped us enormously with setting up all this machinery in the new version of Gretel of course although of course uh, as they say the usual disclaimer applies 
we thank Tommy for his help, but of course all remaining errors are, are ours. Now, um, this chapter of the manual will give you uh, a fair amount of detail on how, on all the possibilities that you have, but most importantly on how to do this uh, from uh, the scripting interface, which is something that presumably you might want to do uh, if you plan to use this option um, in a systematic way. Okay, of course, I'll be happy to answer your question if you send me an email, or better still, if you send uh, a message to the Gretel user list. Okay, so bye-bye, everybody.